Okay, there's Mr. Ken Tuning, KT7 KEN. That control. Here's the radios. Let's see, what radios have we got here, Ken? He who dies with the most toys wins. <laughs> <laughs> he who yeah, dies so. with the most toys still dies. <laughs> yeah, so what do you got over there? Alright, we've got a Yesu 8800 here. Which is on what? Which the dual receivers, we got the 68 Mount Idaho repeater. We have a okay, Salmon Point Idaho eight, County eight, Sheriff's eight, repeater. Uh, dual eight, receivers eight, makes these fun. Let's let one radio do the job of two. Over here we have a Yesu 7800. This is on our race frequency to our primary VHF repeater. Here we have a Yesu 8900. We have our 5.6 simplex for our local running around here simplex frequency. We currently have we currently have car to car for Idaho County Sheriff's on this one to talk to our deputies here local. Over here we have another Yesu 8800. This has Marine oh, Band Channel there. 16 on it and Marine Band Channel 68 for talking with the boat captains and listening to what they're doing. We have a, another Yesu 7800 here with 146.520 which is national simplex for 2 meter for the people coming in and that don't know what other frequencies to be on mm -hmm. until we can tell them. And over here We've got CBs to set up for talking to the boats that have CBs. And in an emergency, we have a 10 meter rig that is capable of running CB frequencies also, but with a lot more power and a better receiver. For emergency use, we have that if we need more power. Okay, very good, Ken. Now, if we need uh, them. Oh, <laughs> if we got more over here. <laughs> if that. you'd like this side too. Yeah. We have HF. Or if we need to talk to Boise, for example, or Florida, or you know, <laughs> so IC seven eighteen. Yeah, we have uh, police radios here. We have handhelds for now. This is normally in here for search and rescue use for Idaho County, but these are uh, public service handhelds, all set up in the chargers. And notice a couple of power supplies up there. Yes, power supplies to run all this if we're running the generator to run it off AC. We also have a Wilson signal boost. It's a cell phone booster for being able to get cell phone in areas where we wouldn't normally have enough signal. And 7 UBO, And uh, in the back, of course, we have the awnings, the cuts, the generator, yeah. back of the trailer. lighting. Uh, you know, all the other hardware and, you know, extension cords and all the other odds and ends that go with an operation like this. Yeah, very good. Now, for this operation, we put some oh, batteries underneath. Batteries and, underneath there. Oh. So we can run off DC without having to have the generator all the time. Mm -hmm. We also put an inverter there to make 110 volts AC right off the batteries. Yep. And another radio on the charger, it looks like. Yes, a handheld there. <coughs> and uh, for when I go walking around. And we're going to put hook up some more batteries here when we get to it, but we haven't got that done yet. There's station calling in 7 UBO on 5 oh. yeah. got Button here. Okay, here are the uh, net control antennas here. And there. There. One there, and also you can see we have a couple of uh, couple looks like four roll up four roll up J poles hanging down there. We're using come over here uh, another antenna. Uh, 